such a relaxing place to sit and rest these old weary bones after a hard day's work. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to the Afterlife SMP server. I really do need uh, some recommendations on like a swing or something. I guess I could do like a hanging swing. A recliner, or not a recliner, a rocking chair is really what I want, but I don't have much hope to find something like a rocking chair. So I think a swing, a porch swing would do. Uh, I've done a lot of work, as you can see, a lot, and I love it. Actually, wait, uh, no, before we begin the tour, I wanna show you a clip of something funny that happened while I was building it. So I was in the process of building and Puffing Fish hopped on and asked us not to sleep because he wanted to find a zombie, vill zombie uh, villager. Well, I hopped in my house, threw up this trap door and like all these zombies started coming in. So I was like, great, I'll make a little XP farm out of it. But then a zombie villager popped in and I'm like, hey, Puff, I've got one. He's here at my house. And then he's like, well, where do you live? And I told him in front of Llama Mountain. So he gets there and tells me that he's in the back. So I pull out my ax and start working on the guys who are up front. Cause I saw the daylight was coming and I was like, crud, he's probably gonna need that zombie villager to like come in here uh, to be safe. So I hop out, grab the stuff. Sure enough, there they are. <laughs> so I start playing defense cause the little guy was gonna chase after uh, poor old Puff. So we get the zombie villager inside and I'm trying to lure him into this back room so, I, so we can kind of be out of the way and we can figure out what to do with him. With the zombie successfully corralled, Puff does his thing, whatever he was doing. <laughs> I guess he was trying to heal uh, the, the zombie, uh, but it doesn't work. And he doesn't have any other materials or any other potions to do it with. So that begins his long journey back home. <laughs> we leave my place and I'm like, I tell him good luck, and then I go, oh wait, I can't just leave him to do this all by himself. I need to go play defense. So for the rest of this bit, I'll just show you the highlights of that. All right, so that was lots of fun. <laughs> it's sad that it ended the way it did, but regardless, here we are back at the house for a little tour before I work on it some more. Um, I wanted to give you a glimpse of it here. Uh, I did a path, so I don't, I don't know who is working on the roads. I, I mean, I suppose it'd be okay if I continued it and connected because the path stops up there. Uh, so it, somebody in, in, I guess I could just write it. I could just ask on the Discord, but I'm remembering to ask now. I won't remember to ask later. So I'm going to ask now. Hey, hey, someone in Afterlife that knows, can I make this road? I'll make it match the one that's over there. Uh, I just, I'd like to have something to attach my path to. Uh, but here's my path. Uh, kind of a very B-dubs thing to do. Throw in some, oh, that actually, <laughs> that actually goes down to the underbelly. Um to put mix in some wood every now and then because you almost don't notice it really when you're walking by it just looks like trampled dirt with maybe some stuff on it uh but yeah i really like the path uh mostly coarse dirt some uh whatever that's called flattened path soil and then a, a little bit of granite here and there uh what i wanted to look for here at first here for the stairs i had stone bricks and it looked too nice Hey, Jay. Um, it, 
it looked too nice with the stone bricks. I, I wanted it to look kind of, because remember, we're an old man in an old house, it's run down, and I'm too much of a curmudgeon to fix it up. So I needed something that looked a little bit more rustic and worn. And so I was thinking, you know, this is kind of a house that's like on stilts, almost, almost like a uh, like a like a double wide trailer. Although obviously it's not a double wide, but that's kind of the feel I'm wanting to go for to give it an older feel, which we'll talk about the the underside here in just a second. But the stairs were something that really took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do. And then I thought, well, let me do andesite. Well, then andesite was too rocky. So then I thought, if I mix in some polished andesite and some stone, it gives it that worn feel. Like, honestly, maybe more of the polished andesite might make it look better, but I think it would look too nice then. Uh, so anyway, so that once I decided that, a lot of other things kind of came together, like like uh, what I wanted to do down here. So these are all just a bunch of trap doors and the door underneath. So this is going to be a storage area. Um, I'll probably eventually change these out to a blue light. That no, okay, that's a no no. I need I need a I need a a, a, a log there. Uh, but this will be this will be some storage stuff, probably for dirt and rock. Uh, one thing I started to do in my pillager hunter world was I wanted to do storage in a natural way. And so that's how I'm going to do it here is I'll have some rocks down here as well. And so I'll have a dirt section and a rocky section. Uh, so let's go ahead and go up. Oh, and here's my mailbox. Uh, go up to the porch. The porch was pretty simple and easy. A pretty standard thing to do is some fireplaces. I just need a porch. Would you like to be my porch panda? No. Uh, with the walls, they are mostly oak, some oak stairs, some jungle stairs, and some jungle. The jungle just gives it such a nice, worn look, which actually, let's go ahead and walk all the way around just to show you how that, how that ends up looking. I had also initially had stone brick stairs here. Oh, also notice... I initially had planned on having this continue around here, but it made it look so closed off and almost as though it was a bottom floor, not a like under the house type situation, which is also why I put some of these in here. I didn't want it all these because then that just looks kind of like lattice. I, I like having it sporadic. It's pretty cool. Uh, but leaving this area open helped reinforce the fact that this house is built up on something something else I just thought of actually let me try this real quick if I change that bottom underneath there and I may want to do this uh, da, 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 okay, I don't have what I need I may want to change well I guess I had talked about changing this I had oh I need to change these to slabs and maybe these to stairs yeah the, the outside to stairs the insides to slabs and then this will look like a support beam I definitely need to do that. I need to do that over here as well. Uh, so we'll, we'll continue our tour around. This sort of technique continues. But oh, I, what I was saying was, I had been using the stone brick stairs here and it just looked too clean and too nice and too not wood. Another thing I did, oh, hello. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Don't fall <laughs> Pew. <laughs> one thing I wanted to challenge myself with in this build is I had never done a roof with solid blocks I've always wanted to try it and it has never worked out for me and there's a community chest I don't know if I talked about this in the last episode but right there through the trees, there's a building that I'll show you guys maybe later in this video, depending on how long I talk right now. There's a building over there called the Community Chest, and it is a place for you to put blocks that you no longer need. And there was a whole bunch of brown terracotta. And I thought, you know what? That actually would be a good look for the roof. I'm gonna go with it. It looked a little bit too plain. So I ended up just kind of putting them sporadically a little bit here and there. And there's some rhyme and reason to it. There's some rhyme and reason over there. Where is he? Wee! That'll be me one day. I just like to go on record and say, I do not remember saying that. That's another thing I've never done. I have never flown an Elytra. Oh, that looks cool with the with the tower off in the distance. It's majestic. Look at Zigo.
But I really like the look of that with the trap doors and the and the and the half slabs. It is so great. I'm so pleased with it. And I'll go ahead and take you on the inside, even though I have not done anything with the interior yet. We may be doing that today. Probably. How long has this been? How long have I been yammering on? Probably about six minutes. So I made a test build. I made a test build. And this is the one thing I kept from it. Kind of the, the front porch idea, but the walk in and there's a staircase that's boom, boom, boom. This exact thing. This is the only thing I kept from that test design, which actually now I'm looking at it. Uh, you should be more of the white terracotta, which I don't have on me, but I'll fix that later. I, I, I don't know what all of this is going to be. I'm thinking this is just going to be like a loft bedroom. This is, well, you saw the clip of what this is from. And then we've got an attic space that we can get up to as well, which this looks really cool at night with the shaders on. Oh, speaking of shaders, we finally have shaders for this version of Minecraft. How exciting is this? I'm not going to use it a whole lot because I can't use it yet in conjunction with the replay camera because that software doesn't work until Optifine releases a full build. Come on, Mountain, load in. You don't look good with, unless you're all loaded in. I did lower down the view distance. Let me let me increase that again. Let, let's go up to 12. Wanted to save some frames. Pew! There's the mountain blocking the sun. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. These are Silders, Shaders, something, something, volumetric lighting. I've been keeping up the cows good. If anybody needs meat, come and get it. Yeah, I love it. It looks great with the shaders. So exciting. Okay, so I think that's it for now. I think I've shown you everything I wanted to show you. Now I'm going to start planning out some ideas for the interior. We'll probably look at that next. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I'm the only one on right now. I'm all alone. <laughs> Which is a terrifying thing. Uh, but I went, I went walking around and exploring and I thought, you know what? I'm going to be brave. And I'm gonna go into the Nether Hub, and I, I listen. I've never, I've never played with a Nether Hub, I, and and it's a bit daunting to me to like step into it, and it's all built and and like all these different paths to take. And I was like, um, I'm just gonna look at do. I'm just gonna look around until I see one that I want to go down. I eventually found the skeleton spawner, so I've been down here uh, grinding a little bit for some skeletons. Might as well show it to you while I'm here. I don't know who made this, but thank you. I, in, in When Jay was giving me the tour, uh, I thought he said it wasn't working, but it is, it is, oh, it's working. Working marvelously. I haven't, I haven't used a skeleton spawner and I can't tell you how long. Uh, but anyways, you can come down here, check out items, look at, look at uh, different, different bow enchantments. You know, whoa, 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 wait. Ooh, a power. Three. All right. Don't mind. Well, no, no. I'm gonna get that anyways. I think with what I have. Well, let's let's put that up. I don't I don't need arrows. Kyle, of course you need arrows. You're making a bow. Uh uh. Guess what just dropped? Booyah! <laughs> yeah. So oh, it's punch one infinity power two unbreaking two. So we get punch one infinity power two unbreaking two. This is pretty great. Now, if I switch them, is it cheaper? Okay, no, more expensive. Okay, so let's do that. Now, yeah, let's do it. Let's get that. Now, can I put this power three on there? Okay, it only costs six. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, that makes me so happy. I feel complete now. <laughs> oh, ooh. Since we're clearly in an adventurous mood, let's buy something. Ah, uh, so this is Jay's end shop. I, okay, I, I feel like I don't need shulker boxes yet, and and he's got plenty of those in stock. Uh, he also has uh, 
It also has uh, some really nice, uh, really nice enchanted stuff. Uh, quite, quite, quite good, quite good. Uh, b but what I'm interested in is his last elytra. So this is 20 diamonds per elytra. So uh, let's get those counted up. There we go. Leave us one. Get, oh wait, do I pay here? Where do I pay? Where do I pay? Payment and promos barrel. Bam, 20, boom. Wait, let's look at the promos. Just in case there's some sale. You know, some stores, if you don't mention the sale, if you don't mention the coupon, oh, buy two Elytras for 30. Well, you don't have two Elytras, so I feel like I should still get this deal. <laughs> Put you back. I gave my 20, right? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I was like, crud, what did I do with it? Oh, I've never done this before. Look at the achievement. Now, I, I do know one thing about Elytras. You don't... You don't, you don't get one without also having mending. Now, <sighs> Jay has a shop here. I just gave Jay, gave Jay. That was Jay's shop, right? I'm not crazy, right? Yes. Uh, I just gave Jay 20 diamonds. Now, granted, he's given me so much. <sighs> Jay in here sells books mending books now you don't use an elytra without mending did i finish that sentence i don't know if i finished that sentence let's take a look at his promotions and prices all right buy three plus mending books get them at three diamonds each so i'd like to get more than one mending book so that would be nine um however I might, I might get up there with the elytra, but I don't trust my my abilities yet. So we're, we're gonna do it this way. Uh, up here is a shop that is clearly not Jay's shop. He's undercutting Jay's prices. I don't. Oh. Okay, okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay, Jay, don't be mad at me. See, I just gave you twenty diamonds. Right? Okay. So are we are we friends? You know what? Let's get two. Let's put one on our bow. I don't really have anything else that I need to put it on right now. And so Yeah, I don't have anything else that I need to put it on. So other than the bow and the elytra. I'll worry about getting good armor later. Uh now that I know where the skeleton farm is, I'm just gonna go farm for experience and make my own oh whoops let's go down here uh however there's one more thing that you need to go with an elytra we've got to head over to nessa you know what nessa sells rockets and now i jump and go jump and go no okay so th so they don't ah, oh i have to do a double tap oh Oh, <laughs> I can see my house from here. But I don't like that I can't see my face. I want to see my beautiful face. Look at how happy I am. <laughs> oh, you guys. It's so peaceful. So I know you can like swoop and stuff. That's plenty. That's all you need. So how do I how do I land? What do I do to land? Oh, that was up. Uh, no, oh, 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 that was okay. Okay, okay. Got to work on landing. Um, you, you double. You, you have to double tap space if you want to get going again. Once you start falling. We're, let's not try our first landing up on an airplane. How about that? Let's try our first landing out in front of home. So we kind of swoop up and swoop down. Swoop up and swoop down. Can I eat while I'm doing this? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And land in the crops. I look amazing. <laughs> Except where'd my... Why did I take that off? Oh, duh. <laughs> you, you dummy, you have to. I actually, like... Okay, these have got to come off because with those on, I look like an angel. I'm too white. 
I gotta, I gotta change the color of this shirt if I'm gonna be flying around like this, or just go get diamond armor. Oh, you guys, this is exciting. Okay, so before we go today, let me, uh, let me go, let me go hop over and turn on the shaders, okay? And, uh, and I'll show you some of the stuff I've done in the house. I know I said I was gonna possibly do some interior design. Uh, let's be honest, what you just saw was way more exciting than that. Let's get these out of my hot bar before I uh, accidentally click on them again. Uh, so here it is at night. There's still lots of torches on the ground that I'm going to fix. Torches on the ground. Torches on the ground. Looking like a fool with my torches on the ground. Wow, that's dated. Okay. Uh, I made a little pond. And I'm eventually maybe going to have a little, like, uh, uh, a little uh, waterfall type thing coming into it. Because what says old man like a waterfall into a into a koi pond so i need to get some fish in there i need to i need to get me a little seat right here so i can sit here and hear the uh hear the water running down below uh so and i'm also eventually probably going to re I, i'd like to make a big uh, wheat farm somewhere i think that's one shop that we don't have i don't think there's a wheat and bread shop so i may want to do that um since i'm already keeping up with a bunch of cows uh which i guess i could sell that stuff too but there's already beef being sold but I think for for here, for this location, uh, I think these will be the wheat that I'll use. I, I, that might be enough to keep up with cows and meat that I eat, but I'll also have a big farm somewhere else, so that doesn't matter. Okay, anywho, what was I saying? Oh yeah, lights, lights, I added some light poles. I added a string to that one, not a string. A, 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 it's an iron bar, obviously. No, no, hey. Oh, oh no, 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 we won't use this. <laughs> Take aim. Oh, man. Do I have any? I don't have any. Right. Oh, he's got... He's got a shiny shovel. Okay. Did he drop it? No. Um, okay, so lights, lanterns, all that jazz. There's a lantern up there. I don't know if I showed you that earlier. I think I've done that since then. I think that's about all I have to show. Oh, other than I have... Oh. Guys, come on, seriously. I wanted to do this at night because the lighting looks good. Get out of here. Stop. Go away. Oh. Okay. The armor got you good. What were those boots? Wow. And breaking three, projectile protection four on some leather boots. <laughs> that would actually be pretty funny if I went around in leather. Uh, oh, but yeah, did that light there. I did another light here with the iron bar. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, oh, how did I forget this? This is the best part. Hold on. Let me go sleepy sleep. Okay, so remember how I said that I liked to do storage solutions that were natural? So in here, uh, eventually this is going to have like rocks and stuff. But this is where I'll be storing stone. This over here, dort. Dort? Over here is where I store the dort. Uh, so this is going to be dirt and that type of stuff i'm always torn do you put dirt with the gravel because you use the shovel or do you put dirt or do you put gravel with the stone i'm always torn on that because the gravel is technically pebbles and stones and stuff and it's it's gray silver whatever uh and so over here wood storage whoops that wasn't a bin there we go yeah so that was pretty cool i I think that's it. I think that's enough footage for one video. I think. I've lost track at this point. I don't know how long it's been. But uh, but yeah, be prepared for possibly fairly frequent uploads from the server. I'm sure you don't mind that. Uh, but when when there's when you're just starting off, you have so much to do, and I don't have like a big project yet. And so, yeah. So I, I, because I I want to keep you updated. Since it's smaller projects like this house, expect uh, more frequent uploads, which, like I said, you probably don't mind. So thank you, as always, for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Adios, goodbye, and get off my lawn. I'm too white.